These scenes are some of the iconic scenes from the street racing movies and video games. But do you know the first usage of the NOS technology was in World War II? By the hands of the desperate German aviation engineers who were looking to find any miracle substance to get more horsepower from their low-quality wartime aircraft engines. During the war, a difference of few horsepower and speed meant life and death especially for the Luftwaffe pilots. As for the German engineers, because they couldn't get their hands on fancy metals during the war, Germany had to make do with budget-friendly steel for their engines. The problem was, these engines couldn't handle the heat like the ones the Allies had. So, no matter how hard they tried, their quest to keep up with the Allied engineering wizards ended up giving them lackluster, not-so-efficient, super-hot and downright dangerous aircraft engines. During the battle, the DB series of the engine had to be degraded for several years in order to avoid catastrophic engine failures. Furthermore, Germany was dealing with a difficult gasoline shortage. While the Allies were guzzling 150 octane fuel like it was rocket fuel, the Germans were stuck with the aviation fuel that was all show and no go. So you've got these irritated German engineers scratching their brains, unsure what to do next. So they decided to get a little creative since they were desperate for a magic trick or a cheat code or any method to extract more power from their lagging engines. And thus the crazy experimenting began. German engineers began dumping everything into their engines, hoping for a favorable outcome. Their first attempt involves injecting liquid oxygen into the engines to improve their performance at high altitude. But liquid oxygen proved to be a major headache, it was simply too hard to bear. Nitrous oxide, also known as monogas or Goring Mixture 1, was a potential engine booster that cooled cylinders, reduced detonation and divided nitrogen and oxygen for combustion. However, German engines were already struggling at sea level, so using it to power boost and would have been determinant. Instead, they use it as a hidden turbo button for high altitude performance, significantly increasing engine performance and contributing to contemporary engine creation. In Europe, the Germans' turbocharged technology piqued the British interest and they chose to join the scientific adventure. They injected methanol, water, liquid oxygen and liquid ammonia into their engines. The British on the other hand continued to rely on carburetors which posed distinct issues. Injecting a second liquid into the cylinder necessitated the development of a new injection mechanism and firing water into the supercharger was only conceivable if the water would be converted into a fine mist. British engineers found that the Germans were injecting laughing gas into their Yonkers JU-88 aircraft in 1943, resulting in the ha-ha process as explained by the captured German pilots. It took British intelligence more than a year to decipher the code and find that it was nitrous oxide injection. They installed nitrous oxide systems in Mosquito aircraft in 1944, providing them a substantial performance advantage. In addition, they uncovered a methanol injection system in a captured BF-109G, which would be utilized in conjunction with the nitrous arrangement. Methanol might cool the cylinder charge by 40 degrees Celsius leading in a 470 horsepower gain at the sea level. British researchers had been investing methanol injection since 1941, but because to their high quality fuel and crucial metals, they did not pursue it further. America soon followed, describing the benefits of a methanol water mixture identical to the Germans. They ran anti-denting and injection testing before incorporating it into their Pratt & Whitney R2800 engines. This significantly increased their performance, allowing them to produce around 2800 horsepower. This was critical because it allowed the P-47 to compete with the high-altitude Fock Wolves. Carburetors and water injection were initially the emphasis of the British aviation technology, but as the war proceeded, the necessity to improve these technologies decreased. With the world turning into emphasis into the nuclear age, engine boosters and the horsepower enhancers became obsolete in the post-war era. However, hard rod racers, on the other hand, were keen to investigate the possibilities of the World War II engineers' creation. With soldiers returning home and seeking a piece of the American dream, which included vehicles, post-war America enjoyed a major automobile manufacturing boom. Hard rod racing grew in popularity as racers strove to push their engines to their limit for maximum speed. 
They found the miraculous speed enhancing characteristics of the nitrous oxide or NOS, which could greatly improve car speed. The Hot Rod subculture experimented with the NOS, discovering that putting it into the engine could transform regular automobiles into road tripping beasts. However, there was a huge learning curve in figuring out how to utilize the petrol safely and productively. Hot Rod Research developed the technique of NOS boost with time and practice. As we conclude this journey through the remarkable evolution of the NOS technology, it is clear that its origin in the desperate laboratories of the World War II have left an indeniable mark on the world of speed and innovation. From the life or death struggle of the Luftwaffe pilots to the daring experiments of the post-war hot rod racers, the quest for more horsepower and faster speeds has driven human ingenuity to remarkable heights. The NOS boost, born out of necessity and refined through relentless experimentation, has transformed ordinary engines into powerhouses and street racers into legends. Today, as we begin to push the limits of the speed and performance, we owe a debt of gratitude to those wartime engineers and fearless racers who dare to dream of going faster and in doing so, forever change the landscape of high-speed pursuits. The legacy of NOS lives on, reminding us that pursuit of speed knows no limit and the quest for innovation is a never-ending journey into the future.